Well, you might buy tomato and pepper transplants because those tend to take longer and really you don't want to start those from seed directly in the garden because they take just too long to grow and produce in what our season allows. However, squash and zucchini are great vegetables to start directly in the garden from seed. So if, for again, for a couple of bucks, you can buy a couple of packages of whatever varieties you might want. Um, I've got some Black Beauty zucchini here, which is a really great uh, cultivar of of a, a zucchini, a summer squash. So what we're gonna do is just plant these. Now keep in mind squash and zucchini really get to be large plants. So you're gonna wanna plant them about almost two and a half to three feet apart. So in this space right here, we're only gonna plant uh, probably three holes. And in each hole, I'm gonna put a couple of seeds. Again, that's just my insurance there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and plant our zucchini. And in order to do that, we're going to just dig down about an inch, not too far. Again, these are fairly small seeds. Traditional rule of thumb is to plant the seed two and a half times the diameter of the seed. And so you can see here, we've got small seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two seed in there and then just cover those over. Come down here about two and a half feet. Again, dig another little hole. Nice thing about this is you don't have to get too dirty digging those holes because they're not going very far. And then we'll cover that over. I've already worked my soil. It's been tilled up quite a bit. So it's gonna allow for those seedlings to establish themselves once they grow in. Now you can see here, I've only planted probably six seeds in three different holes. We're probably gonna end up cutting one of those seedlings back when we see which one is the stronger one and allow one to really establish that space. So I'll end up with hopefully three zucchini plants. Now I'm gonna plant my uh, yellow squash in a different bed just somewhere else um, for today. And the other thing is, is you still have plenty of seeds left, which is nice because we all know that with squash, you're gonna get squash bugs and it's really difficult to um, battle those as we go through the season. And one way to do that is through succession planting. So in a couple of weeks, I will plant a couple of more seeds so that you always have a nice crop of fresh squash and zucchini coming on board before those squash bugs get them. A lot of times people start their garden with transplants, but there are a few plants that you can directly sow the seeds straight into your garden in April. And along our vertical trellis here, we're gonna plant some cucumbers. Cucumbers are one of those plants that do well starting from seeds straight out into the garden. So you can't get much easier than that. For a couple of dollars, you'll get several seeds, which is kind of like insurance, because if one doesn't make it, you've got plenty of seeds to go around. So what we're gonna do, our uh, trellis stakes here are about 16 inches apart, which works well for our spacing on our cucumbers. Now these seeds, they don't need any sort of pretreatment or anything. We're just open the package and we're gonna plant them straight into the garden. We're gonna plant those along each one of these stakes. And I'm gonna go ahead again for insurance purposes, kind of plant one on both sides. So we'll plant one on this side. And I like to usually just go ahead and put a couple of seeds in that hole. Um, we'll see how many of them come up. If both of them come up and they're competing, then we might wanna go ahead and clip one of those back. But then we're gonna repeat that over on this side as well. And you're just gonna dig down a couple of inches. These don't need to be too deep. And then we'll cover them up. It's always nice to add a little bit of ornamental flowers into your vegetable garden, just for some show. And so since we have this trellis here, I thought it would be nice to add some moonflower to the end caps of this. Now, if you're not familiar with moonflower, it is a tropical annual vine, uh, which means it's only gonna last for one season. But the nice thing about this is that it has large white flowers and it's quite a vigorous vine. So you're gonna get a lot of production off of it and you're gonna have these beautiful big white flowers. And the nice thing and the reason why it has its name moonflower is because it tends to bloom later in the evening into early morning. So if you're like many people that come home late from work and a lot of your flowers have closed up by the end of the day, moonflower is one that's still going to be open. And also because it's white, whenever we have any ambient light or moonlight, it's definitely gonna be reflective. So when you can stroll out into your garden, you're still gonna see these beautiful flowers showing. 
Now in order to plant this moonflower, one thing you want to know, and it, it tells you this if you buy the seed packets, is that this particular one likes to be soaked um, overnight. And so you can see here, I've got a lot of baby food jars laying around the house these days. And so I've gone ahead and soaked these seeds overnight, um, which has allowed them, I'm just gonna pour this out a little bit so you can see, has allowed them to kind of swell up a little bit. That water's imbibed that seed and has started it off. Um, and so now at this point, we're ready to go ahead and plant them into the garden soil. And we're just gonna do one. Again, these are fairly small seeds, so we're only gonna go down about half an inch or so and plant it on either side of the end here of our trellis. Now, if you see, some of them kind of look funny. This one looks a little different than these others. So I'm a little bit curious if this one, maybe something's wrong with it or it might not germinate as well. So I'm gonna go with the majority of the ones that look similar like these here. So now we've got our trellis planted. We should see the moonflowers germinate in about five to 10 days and the cucumbers might take a little longer, about eight to 10 days. Um, but we're gonna keep an eye on it. We're gonna water these seeds in and also kind of keep that bed moist because those will start to sprout um, and the slightest dryness can desiccate that seed or kill that seed. So be sure to watch for any sprouts and if we have any late freezes, go ahead and cover them with something as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.